Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a paracord pouch for your Swiss Army knife. So as you can see, this is a very simple paracord, I guess you can call it a sheath or a pouch um, carrying case for your Swiss Army knife. And it works very well. Ideally, you want to have a little bit of a lanyard on it so it's easy to you know, pull it out like that. And this is housing my trusty Victorinox Pioneer. And yeah, you can tailor make this pouch to fit any, um, you know, Swiss Army knife within reason, not those maybe crazy thick ones, but uh, yeah. So that's what we're doing today, guys, and I hope you will enjoy it. So remember, guys, if you're looking for where to get paracord uh, tools and all that good stuff I use in the videos, uh, feel free to check out those affiliate links down below. And uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're going to start off with our first piece of paracord. We're going to double it over, find the midpoint, and we're just going to tie the simple diamond knot. So I'm going to make a loop with the right side, lay it over top the cord on the left, and take the end of that cord on the left, bring it underneath the one on the right, and just go over, under, over in terms of those three uh, pieces of cord to form our Carex bend. And from there, I'm going to take the cord on the bottom, bring it past the cord on the right coming out, and bring it through the middle. And you're going to do the same on the other side. The cords will tend to just want to go in that direction anyway, so you shouldn't have any problem uh, figuring that one out. So now I'm going to tighten my uh, and firm up my knot, and just um, get it pretty much formed up. Now, um, there is a lot of excess cord on the end, that's fine, because we can use that to adjust uh, the placement of that knot at the very end, so um, you don't have to worry about the excess cord, that's fine. Next, I'm going to take my Swiss Army knife out, I'm just going to um, put my uh, loop here around it, just to get an idea of the size of my um, kind of loop on the end, and it's the size of my sheath. So I'm just going to show you there. That's basically going to be the size of your paracord sheath. And I'm just doing this to gauge um, how big I want to make that loop on the end and just um, the general length of that loop. So take your Swiss Army knife and just do that to get an idea of the size you need to make your sheath. Now from here, I've got my two joined pieces of paracord. You can do one color if you want. You can do a single color. It's up to you. I'm going to put it behind my kind of core here. It's going to look like we're pretty much making a bracelet. And I'm going to start with the right cord and put it over the core. Take the left on top and put the right cord through the opening on the other side. And we're just tying cobra knots here, so most of you should be familiar with this. Now I'm going to make that top loop about a half inch or so, um, just big enough to get a diamond knot through, all right? And at this point, you're just going to continue your cobra knots going down the length of your core here. All right, so um, I did mine two color, um, and uh, it's up to you if you want to do your single or whatnot. But remember to always lead with that same strand. It's a lot easier when you have two colors. So you can see I'm using the lighter color over the core every time, and um, it's much easier to keep track that way. So just continue tying those cobra knots going down your core. You don't have to go all the way to the end. You can leave maybe, I'd say, at two or three inches from the diamond knot. And uh, you can gauge how much you'll need by just um, putting it around your um, Swiss Army knife. So I tied my section of cobra knot. I'm just going to bend it over and I sort of bend it in half. And now I can gauge how much I'll need to go around my Swiss Army knife. So you can see there. It's just right in the middle, and um, that's just about enough for my specific Swiss Army knife. So I don't have to tie any more Cobra knots, and um, you can actually remove, you don't have to keep the um, Swiss Army knife there. Now I'm going to attach a fit to one end of the cords, and we're going to start weaving this down the side to um, kind of create that closure for the pouch. All right, so I've got my fid on my paracord and I'm just going to put it through that first uh, knot there, that first cobra knot, okay? And you can probably guess where we're going with this. So I've got it through and now don't pull this too tight. Um, you're gonna have to adjust this based on the kind of um, size and shape of your specific Swiss Army knife. So because my Swiss Army knife has a bit of a protrusion on the side where the blades stick out, 
I have to leave a bit of excess cord on that side. All right, so I'm just gonna get that out of there. And I'm just gonna continue putting the uh, weaving kind of left and right, like kind of like a zigzag pattern going down the side of my cobra knots. Okay, so that's gonna form that ed that kind of side there to hold everything in. So just, um, yeah, use your fid and get your cord through. And uh, when you get to the end, you'll be able to kind of adjust the um, the side and the kind of uh, width of your pouch. So don't worry about that. There's enough cord so that you can um, adjust it at the end. So yeah, just continue weaving down left, right, left, right, all the way down to the side of your pouch. So I've gotten down to the end here and I'm just going to keep going until I can't go anymore. So um, it'll be a little different on the other side. But uh, I'm gonna go down all the way just to the bottom and uh, we can stop there on this side. So we've done one side, I didn't clip off the excess yet, but now we're just gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, I've got my fid on my cord again and I'm just gonna start feeding it through those cobra knots. And um, yeah, just do the exact same process, get the cord through the knots and weave it down left and right to uh, form the other side of the pouch. And again, I've reached the bottom of the other side and I'm just gonna do a couple more um, kind of weaves in and out. And I think may not be able to get all the way to the bottom but just go as far as you can before it you know looks so, so just so that doesn't look weird or anything so i'm going to do that and i'm going to go one last time through the very bottom there And notice my uh, cord is still a little loose because I want um, to be able to adjust the um, size of that because you don't want to make it too tight. Otherwise, you may not be able to fit your um, Swiss, Army, Swiss Army knife inside the pouch. So I made sure my Swiss Army knife fits snugly in that um, pouch there and so that you know I can easily get it in and out. And now I'm just gonna take uh, my scissors and I'm just gonna clip off the excess cord and just melt the ends so that those cords stay nice and secure. All right, and there we have it, we are finished. So I did end up um, just adjusting my uh, diamond knot placement a little bit, and I also just tied a couple of snake knots on the end there. You don't have to do that. You can just you know, leave it where it is. And my Swiss Army knife fits uh, very nicely inside this pouch. So as you can see, it does stick out a little bit on the, on the other side. That's just due to the you know type of Swiss Army knife I have. But um, yeah, it works out great. And um, it's gonna protect my Swiss Army knife if it's in my pocket, it won't scratch my phone or scratch itself against anything else. And yeah, I hope you guys like this one. So as always, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Uh, if you guys want access to the exclusive monthly tutorials, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Got a lot going on there. And um, yeah, if not, uh, feel free to like the video. And also if you're not subscribed, you wanna see more content like this, uh, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.